everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you how to set different types of orders within the MetaTrader 4 platform which is what I use to trade Forex. In particular we're going to cover how to set buy limit orders and buy stop orders as well as sell limit orders and sell stop orders. I'm also going to share how to set a hard stop loss and a take profit order. So if you're new to trading Forex or you're new to MetaTrader 4, then this video is definitely going to help you out. It's going to give you a good understanding on the different type of orders you can use to day trade or swing trade, as well as how to set them. I have created a separate video which shares a tutorial on how to use MetaTrader 4. I'll include a link above if you want to check that out if you're brand new to the platform. But if you're ready to learn how to set different types of orders, then stick with me and let's get to it. For this video, we're going to be using my demo account in MetaTrader 4 because obviously I'm going to be getting in and out of a lot of different trades. And a quick disclaimer that this isn't going to be a video focusing on strategy. So I'm really not interested in trying to make money or trying to win trades in this video. So don't follow along with the strategy because there isn't one. <laughs> this is purely a demonstration of the different types of orders that you can use within MetaTrader 4. And to do this, we're going to be focusing on the pair Euro USD. Now it's coming up to the New York trading session, so I'm hoping we're going to get a little bit of volume because we're going to need some movement to help us while we set these orders to get them triggered. So the first order we're going to look at is the buy stop order. Let's have a look at how this works. The way a buy stop order works is that you want price to be pushing up, activating your order, theoretically meaning that it will carry on pushing up in your direction of the trade. Let me show you an example. So price is currently here at 1.20285. Let's say that if price rises up above this candle, that we want to set a buy stop order. So as price pushes up, it activates that order and continues up. I'm just going to keep it really simple as a one to one just to demonstrate this. So price has pushed up and now we are activated in the trade. and price continues pushing up into our take profit zone. In a nutshell, that's how a buy stop works and that's what we're going to set now in MetaTrader 4. So using the same theory, we have this five minute candle that's going to close in just over a minute time. So let's say we want to be activated into this trade above the high of this candle. I'm gonna use a very simple five pip stop and five pip target just to demonstrate this. So we want to set the buy stop at 1.20390. Now we know what we want to do. Let's go into MetaTrader 4 and to EURUSD. Now there are a couple of ways that you can use to do this. We can click on new order at the top, which will load up our order entry window. Or we can right click on the chart. If we go underneath trading, it'll actually give us the option to set a buy stop order or click new order. So there are a few different ways of doing this. I'm going to go into new order. Here you'd enter in your lot size, which is really important. I'm not too focused on that at the moment because this is a demonstration, but obviously that's a major step not to be forgotten. Now we want to change this to a pending order because we're not setting this at market, we are limiting the order. And we want to make sure that underneath type it says buy stop. At price means at what price do we want this to be triggered? Well, we know we want this to be triggered at 1.29390. I'm going to just copy that because at the same time, we can also set our stop loss for the trade. Once everything there is ready, you can select place. This will set the order and also display the dotted lines on the screens that you can see here. Now the green dotted line is actually the order we've just set. And then we've also got our take profit and our stop set there. And we also see the row below. It's highlighted green because price action is very close to activating our buy stop. Once the price figure here crosses this point that we have placed our stop at, it will automatically set us into the trade. But because we've also set our stop loss and take profit, theoretically we could walk away now and let the trade do its thing, which is really useful if you've got a busy schedule. It's quite useful as well because the green dotted line, which represents the entry we've set for our buy stop, if you click and hold, you can actually drag this around. And as you can see, it'll also drag that stop and take profit level. So we can adjust that if we need to. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to set that back to 390. And you might be wondering why the price here says 37, now 38. 
when up here we have the two different figures and that's because if we are buying to go into the market we're going to be looking at the buy price once we have brought into the market our take profit will be looking at the sell price so it's just understanding the relationship between the two and what side of the market we are going to be on So price is pushed up now it's activated our trade so now we have brought into this market and because we have such a small stop and take profit set they are both highlighted now because we are within 10 pips distance of both of those figures so now we're going to be in this trade until price action hits either our stop loss or our take profit order and at which point will we then get out of the trade Once the trade has ended, it'll then disappear. But if you click onto account history below and just under custom period, you can just choose to select today. Uh, that will load up the trade that we were just in. So a sell stop order, as you can probably imagine, is the complete same as a buy stop, except for we are selling as the market moves down onto our sell stop. So let me give you an example. Once again, using Euro USD, let's say that we want to get short into this trade if price pushes below this level, which is 1.20381. So we could place a sell stop order, a pip just below this level here. And if I just unlock the next candles, you can see that price has not actually activated our order just yet. It's just above. But now price has pushed down and it would have activated our sell stop. And once price continues down, it would then activate our take profit order. So the theory is the same with the buy stop, except for which price is moving down into our sell stop zone. So we'll use your USD again. I'm going to shift into the one minute time frame this time, just to give us a little bit more information for this trade as we're just demonstrating here. Now price looks like it's already moving down. So I'm just going to pick a random point just below the current market price action. Once again, I'm going to select new order got your USD double check the volume which is the lot size and underneath type once again we're going to click pending order and underneath type here instead of the buy stop that we chose last time we're going to select a sell stop order and I'm going to enter in the price 1.2030 I'm going to highlight and copy this and put into our stop point here but I'm going to add five pips once again and the same for our take profit but I'm going to take away five pips because obviously we are selling this time. Once you're happy with all the details, the same again, just select place. And this will plot the points onto our chart here so that we can see where our orders are. And I'm going to actually shift these. So as I said before, you can click and hold and drag this. So I'm going to just place this just below the low of the previous one minute candle here. So now if price continues down past 1.20321, that will activate our sell stop and we will be executed into this trade short. And I find that both buy stops and sell stop orders can be extremely useful when you are wanting to get into a position, but you don't want to get in at the market value. You want to wait for the market to be pushing in your direction. It can really be beneficial then. It can be a way to jump onto the wave of momentum and hopefully ride that towards your take profit area. So price has tapped our sell stop and we are now activated into this trade. And once again, I have the stop loss set and I have the take profit order set. So I could technically walk away. If at any point you wanted to alter just your stop loss or your take profit, it's super easy to do. You can do it in two ways. So if you want to adjust your stop, you can either click, hold and drag just the stop loss level that you've set here on your charts. Another way to do that is to actually hover over the row and double click on the figure and that will load up the screen just here where you can then adjust your stop loss figure or your take profit or you can adjust both of those. So it's really easy to edit a trade even when you are in a trade. Now that we've had a go at the stop orders, I'm going to share with you how you set different limit orders. So first let's have a look at the sell limit order with an example. The way that a limit order works is that instead of price pushing in your direction to activate your order, you're waiting for price to come back where your order is waiting for price to be triggered. 
So for example, let's say that we want to set a sell limit order on your USD, which means that we want to sell when price reaches a certain point. For example, when price pulls back to the 50 moving average. So we'll set a sell limit order at around about 1.20420. Now this order will just sit there and wait for price to come to it. If price comes close to our order and crosses this level, then it will sell and we will be activated into this trade short. So now price has actually crossed our level, we are now activated into this trade. Depending on the spreads, it might have stopped us out at this level. If not, it would have got us out here at take profit. But you get the idea of how this works. We're waiting for price to come up to a level where our sell limit order will be, waiting to be triggered when price crosses that level. Now that we've looked at the theory, let's have a go with MetaTrader 4. For this, I'm going to set a sell limit order around about the highs where we've had loads of these wick rejections, just to see if we get a pullback to that level to activate our sell. Now once again, as with the stops, there are a number of ways we can set this order. We can either right click on the chart, underneath trading you can see sell limit there or you can see it here, or we can go the long way which is into the new order box here. Once again, checking the symbol and the position size and underneath type, we're going to select pendant order. Now underneath the type in the pendant order section, we're going to select a sell limit order. And all we need to do is enter the price at which we want to set our limit order, the level at which price will cross to activate our order short. So I'm going to put 1.20350 and place that. Now, if price actually comes and crosses this green dotted line, that will activate our sell limit order. So that will place us short into this trade. I've chosen not to enter a stop loss and take profit on this occasion, just so you can see how we get into this trade short using the sell limit order. Now, although we're at 35 on the buy, we're waiting for the sell to hit 35 because that is what we're going to do. We're going to sell. Now that price has crossed the 35 level on the sell side, it's now activated our sell limit order and now we're short into this trade. So now you can simply place your stop loss and your take profit and set the trade up ready for it to play out. And the final order that I'm going to look at with you now is the buy limit order. So once again, it's the same as the sell limit, except for this time we're looking to buy. I'll just share with you a quick example before we execute one of these on MetaTrader 4. Buy limit orders are really useful if a currency pair is already trending up or it's already moving up and you're waiting for it to pull back. That would be a great place to set a buy limit order because you're waiting for price to pull back down to activate your buy order and then hopefully it will continue its upward movement towards your take profit. So for example, if we wanted to set a buy limit order around about the level that this previous pullback was at, so this is at 1.2038. So we could set a buy limit order here and wait for price to move down, activating our buy, so we're now long in this pair. And then after a period of time, it would either move to your take profit or your stop loss level. So once again, to set a buy limit order, we can either right click on the chart, we can select buy limit or underneath trading, choose a buy limit here, or we could go on to new order. Now I'm going to go on to the new order as we have been doing and here underneath type, we select pending order. Now it's already selected here buy limit, which makes it a bit easier for us. So all we need to do is enter in the figure at which we want to set our buy limit order at. So I'm going to set a buy limit order 1.2035, which is just around about a previous point here. So if price dips down to test those levels, it will activate our buy limit order and it will trigger us into this trade long. And this time it's inverse. So instead of waiting for the sell side to hit 350, which as you can see has not triggered our order, we're waiting for the buy side to hit 350 because we're looking to buy to go long into this trade. And these orders can be really useful, especially for swing traders if you've got a busy lifestyle, because if you highlight a point on your charts where you think price could pull back to, you could set a buy limit order and you could also set your stop loss and your take profit order and pretty much set it and forget it and walk away and carry on with your routine and let the trade do its thing. 
And now that price action has come down to the buy price or the ask price, that has activated our buy limit order. So now we're long into this trade. And this leads me on to the last two orders to share with you. So first, one of the most important orders that we must always set is a hard stop loss order. And there are two ways to set this when you are into a trade. So if I want to set a stop loss quickly, the best way to do that is to select my entry, which is this dotted green line. If I click and hold onto that, I can actually drag downwards which will activate my stop loss once I drop it. Because I am long, if I bring this line down, this red dotted line, that is my stop loss. And if you're unsure, you can see on the far left side that it says SL for stop loss, and it'll say how many pips I'm currently dragging this. So I'll set this just below this current candle. Once I've set my stop loss, I can now set my take profit order, and the theory is exactly the same. So I can click on the dotted green line, which is my entry, I can hold and drag upwards. And on the left hand side, you'll see TP for take profits. So that is my take profit order. And again, I can let go of that, and that will drop my take profit and set it. Now those two orders, you'll be able to see them in this bottom row here. And if you want to edit them at any time, you can either click and hold and drag the lines as we did when we set the orders. Or we can double click on the orders in this bottom row. So I can double click here and I can enter in an adjusted stop loss or take profit. And that's it. It's super easy to set a hard stop loss or a take profit. So there's no excuse to not manage the risk on your account trading anymore. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. A guide on how you can set many different orders that are available to use within MetaTrader 4. It makes trading so much more accessible if you've got a busy lifestyle, knowing that you can use these different types of orders, which I think are a lot better than just using a standard market order. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already part of the account. If you've got any questions or comments, do leave them below and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.